Now is not the time for argument. I told you he would say that. We must reach the next platform! Well done! Okay, for self heal. I have that I need to really get over when it comes to recording these videos is I am definitely not used to talking while I'm fighting. I mean, gotta focus. The gate's opening. I think that's bad news. Yep, bad news. They're not stopping. And they will not stop. This is all to hold us back. Top marks for effort. Someone has to push through. This confusion may be all the time we have. Someone? Go! Go! Going, going. It's all coming down! Alright. Now, uh, something that the this game did, like uh, Warhammer did, is having separate friendly and uh, uh, enemy targets. That means I can keep myself targeted for heals and whatnot. And this is creepy. Load of good you did by going ahead. Now, shotgun, not so much my thing unless it's, you know close quarters, first person, uh, first person shooter, uh, not so much in RPGs. I don't like slow weapons, and shotguns are kind of slow. You look like you've just seen the end of the cosmos, mate. I know the feeling. We're on the edge of it, and it's time to play your part, scene. Me and you, we're blood now, yeah? Templars but a win in that. Never mind. Looks like you've got some training to do before you're ready for your first kill. You want to do what your letter says. Go speak with Sonak at the Templar's Gaff. It's not far. You can't miss it. Honest, it's unmissable. No, I like how she said what the letter said, even though, uh, even though it doesn't let you read it. You just kind of have it. All right, map says go this way, so I shall go this way. Now, I'm generally good at finding my way through uh, games and new games, so uh, people who watch should not have much issue when it comes to uh, when it comes to me figuring things out. Uh, when Fault and I do the Portal 2 stuff, I'm not sure if we're going to upload that or not. We might. It might work out really well. But uh, 
I know we kind of blew through uh, the first set of, uh, or the base co-op stuff when it came out, and we're going to be doing the DLC later. We were able to complete all of those without any sort of chat whatsoever, so I think we'll do pretty well in the DLC. But like I was saying, uh, more on this game. Uh, yeah, I tend to not get lost. I'm really good with maps and, and uh, getting around, figuring out where I need to go. It's like, us unless uh, things are broken, I'm, I don't generally have no problem. A lot of people. Now it's just Come two in. of us. Come in. Three. I'm very pleased you can follow directions on the back of a card. It is the basis for us getting along famously. Of course, with an establishment like this, we're practically in the yellow pages under Crusaders. Richard Sonak. So, you heeded our call to arms. You have questions, I can furnish you with answers. Some answers. To begin with, you haven't strayed into some atrocious Dan Brown airport paperback. We are not the Knights Templar. That particular appellation went out in the 1300s along with page boy haircuts and burnings at the stake. No, we run a 21st century well, let's say a forward-facing organization, but one with its strength in ancient bonds of tradition, in loyalty, in blood, and, to be perfectly frank, in a sizable private army. Our firm guidance is needed to save the world from itself. We have kept the matters of squabbling secret societies and loathsome dimensions discreet. Until the shadows began to peel back across the globe, until these darkest of days came upon us. Now, the evidence is on television, for pity's sake. We are at war. Might will make right, and it will fall upon us to judge the correct application of might. It falls upon you, as a soldier of the Templars. Show me that you have the will, and we can teach you the way. Your remarkable powers can be honed and controlled, at least to less disastrous effect on property values. There is a private training area which we have reinforced for just that purpose. Come back and see me after. Well, he said if I can follow directions, we'll get along famously. So, like Hello. I was saying, we'll probably get along famously then. Oh, yeah, there is the whole uh, can I talk to him deal. Oh, like right there. Okay, but you know what? I don't really care. I mean, this is beta. So, those are stuff that people can read later. Let's see, there we go. Yes, to the crucible. It's like I'll, uh, I'll let the cutscenes play and I'll try to be quiet during them. But, uh, so that way people can hear it. But generally the, the talking to people is something people can do when they play the game. I mean, this is a beta test, so, uh, you know, we're here to test, and I'll give them impressions, but, okay, cutscene, shutting up. Christ almighty, we've got our work cut out for us. The Crucible is my house, and in my house, my word is law. Forget your mother's teeth. From now on, this is your home. This is where you learn to stay alive. You've come here an empty slate. You have potential, that's why you were recruited. But that potential needs strict guidance. You're a loaded weapon. And if you don't learn to control yourself and channel your powers, you'll end up hurting yourself or others. You have the ability to manifest anima, your life force in the physical world, to enhance your strength, your physical attributes, to do magic. Martial magic, none of that fairy stuff. Whatever trinket you hold in your hand is merely a way to direct your powers. We don't do magic wands here. Through your weapon, you channel and wield your magic. And never mind why this power has been awakened in you. You're not the only one, and you're not the chosen one. You're part of an army. Our army. And from now on, you'll do what you're told. It's the way of the Templars. 
Consider this your playground. It's not like being out in the front lines, but is close enough. We have a choice of weapons for you to practice with. Try as many as you wish. When we're done, you get to pick one. You want to make sure you're comfortable with your weapon. It'll be the only thing between you and a trip to the graveyard. Those things are called Rakshasa, the basic hell house. We keep them chained. They used to make such a mess of the new recruits. Use them for target practice. Don't worry. They don't feel a thing, and they're unworthy of mercy. Spend your time in the Crucible well. There's no point rushing things. Out there, the demons aren't chained up, and you don't have me around to save your sorry ass. Go on, get started. I'll offer some guidance along the way. Hmm, part of an army. I'm actually kind of used to that, uh, being raised as an Air Force brat. But, hey, I went the geek route instead. Anyway, uh, melee. Now, I, I really like the look of these uh, fist weapons. Uh, generally, from what I've seen, you only need to complete one of these to move on. But I think I'll do a couple that I want to test out. Alright, grab spike knuckles. Grabbing. All right, I for inventory. The fist weapons let you channel your inner beast. Like a wild animal and predator, you use your speed and precision to find your opponent's weakness, and you'll strike for the throat with vicious attacks and ferocious combinations. In touch with anima, with nature, you can use Gaia's strength to heal yourself and your allies. Fist weapon combat, as all melee combat, utilizes momentum to deal high damage or trigger special effects. You'll initiate combat with full fist weapon momentum, and it will be depleted and regained over time. Special abilities consume the momentum, but other abilities rebuild it as combat progresses. Yeah, all right, fist weapon builds a resource and consumes resource. So let's give it a shot. Fist weapons. All right, now let's try. Man, with fist weapons now, I'm already bored of blades. I haven't even tried it out yet. All right, let's go over here, and I want to try elementalism. They seem to improve the quest layout. All right. Elementalism allows you to manipulate the fabric of the universe in volatile and unpredictable ways. Fire and electricity will burn and shock your enemies. Ice can freeze and slow their movement. And magic can purge their beneficial effects. But when using magic, you need to manipulate and utilize your charge levels. You'll notice that some abilities build your charge count while others deplete them. Some abilities require a certain number of charges, and some will exhaust all your available charges for increased effect. The higher the charge, the more potent the effect. Okay, that seems kind of slow, so I think uh, claws will be the way for me. But claws are the closest to daggers. Alright. Uh, if I remember right, I have to do it again. Equip. Alright. Oh nice, the resources go up automatically, so... And the... Okay. So instead of build up blast, it's... I can get... I can get an initial alpha strike. Good. Yep, I'm going claws. Now, 
skill points, fists. Alright. Put at least one in there. Hmm. Oh, let's see, what does this do? Let's hold off on that for now. Let's go to the ability wheel and say, oh, that's right, the deck is still there. So let's turn that off. And fist weapons. Alright, so we have... Let's look at this. This seems to be my uh, attacking claw, my passive sharp claws. Well, okay, it's a bleed. My blast and killer instinct would be the one I would have to learn, I guess. Yeah, because I don't see it on down there. And we go here. Oh, nice. Get a uh, a hot every time I attack. Let's see. Nurture a single target. All right, now I think that'll be super useful. So let's go ahead and buy that. Move it over to number five like it was over before. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I, I have a certain type of setup I like to use in MMOs where. Uh, oh, it's hard to explain. It's just how I work. <laughs> All right, now this had a, uh, yeah, see, your fist healing abilities cause the target to receive more healing from all sources, can stack five times. Uh, let's get it just because I can, can and plus stacking, uh, blah. It should be helpful. Alright, now I can get... No, I can't get Killer Instinct. Uh, I'll be nice later. But right now, I think the getting the, this more healing would be helpful. There we go. So now I have can do bleeds, heal myself, and increase that ability. So, good stuff. Uh, these are... The secret world has no classes or levels. Instead, it gives you more than 500 unique abilities that you can use to create the type of character that you want to play. All abilities in the game can be found in the ability wheel. Here they are organized into three main categories. Melee, Magic, and Ranged. These groups are again divided into nine types of weapons. Blades, Hammers, Fist Weapons, Blood Magic, Chaos Magic, Elementalism, Shotguns, pistols, and assault rifles. Though you can potentially learn all the abilities in the wheel, you can only use two weapons at a time, and bring seven active and seven passive abilities into combat. These 14 abilities put together is called a build, and the trick is to find good combinations that also allow you to play the character the way you want to. Another important piece of character development is the skill system. You earn skill points the same way you earn new abilities, but use them to improve your skills to be able to equip better talismans and weapons. Developing skills also gives you yet another strategic choice because each weapon lets you develop two different sets of bonuses. For example, if you develop your blade skill, you can choose whether to increase your damage or survivability. This way, you can use skills to define the sort of character you want to play. Whether you will be a defensive master, healing machine, or offensive steamroller. You face so many different monsters and challenges in the secret world that no build is perfect everywhere. 
That's why it's smart to develop many different abilities, to handle different situations. You can make builds to tackle new types of enemies, or even make a build tailor-made for a specific dungeon boss. The strength of the game is its depth and diversity, and how it allows you to customize your character and your own experience. In the secret world, you can be whatever you want to be, and play however you want to play. Okay, now I'm going to take a small break here and uh, check file sizes. I mean, this is my first major test, so I will be right back. <laughs> 